What's up guys, it's Ralph Mish here and welcome to another Pokemon opening video. Today, as you can see in front of me, I have another Eternatus v right here. And four Darkness Ablaze packs to add to the four packs that are already in here. They're not all Darkness Ablaze. If I remember correctly, it's two Darkness Ablaze, one Sword and Shield and one Sun and Moon. Um, but I may be mistaken. The Eternatus tin I have already opened up before, so we're just going to have a quick look at it. I'll quickly flick it on the back. You can have a read if you want. Um, there's also a Pikachu V tin and an Eevee tin, which is part of the collection. And I'm going to crack it open. So inside we have the Eternatus V promo, which I can't get out apparently. So there's the promo card, which I'm going to very gently turn out. The code card, which I will be redeeming myself online because I want to try and build the Eternatus deck. And then we have the four packs. Let's put all this out of the way. Get the plastic out of the way. <laughs> um, yeah, four packs. So we have two Darkness of Blaze, as I said, one Sword and Shield and one Sun and Moon base. We will go in reverse order that they came out in or we'll go in the order of release date basically so we'll start off with sun and moon base um i think the best thing i said before that i can pull out of here is the um gold switch i'm trying not to uh reveal the code card actually do you know what sun and moon uh, we will reveal the code card for Sun and Moon. You, can, you guys can have the Sun and Moon code card. There you go. So if you get that code card, let me know in the comment section below what you get. It's one, two, three. Energy? Question mark? Yes. One, two. I always forget uh, with Sun and Moon. I, Sun and Moon was the first set, I believe, that introduced the energy cards Uh as the 11th card in the pack. Dragonair. I forgot Dragonite's in this set as well. Toracat, Reverse Alolan Diggler and <laughs> Alolan Dugtrio. This is a hollow rare and it had, it was, it was actually a meme for a little while that Tangle in Hair ability that increases your opponent's retreat cost by one. So Sun and Moon is usually bulk for me. Put that there like that. Sword and Shield base. So we skip a couple of blocks forward. We also have the pack with the doggo with the right doggo on it, in my opinion. Um, I picked Sword um, as the game of choice for me. So I prefer Zacian to Zamazenta. Don't get me wrong, I like Zamazenta as well. And Zamazenta V has actually became recently quite a good card to play with all the V Maxes. There's a switch. Energy retrieval. Reverse Frostmoth, which is a rare, which is a really nice reverse to get because Frostmoth um, has recently seen an increase in play with Intellion V Max. And the rare is a Chinchino regular rare. So that's actually not a bad pack in terms of a green code. I'm very, very happy with that. I'm just going to, I think we're just going to stack them like this for now. So now we're on to Darkness Ablaze and we have six packs of Darkness Ablaze. Uh, we have two Grimmsnarl, two Eternatus VMAX, one Sizzlipede and one Charizard. The Charizard and one of the Eternatus is from the tin. So the next two Darkness Ablaze are from the tin. We'll see if we can get anything good from these. I am not spoiling the code cards for myself here because I want to be just as surprised as you guys. That's why I'm taking it off the screen so that I don't accidentally show it. There is a Mad Party Bunnelby to start us off. Toxel, Sinistee, Carablast, Meltan, Leron, Parasect, Spikemus. That's actually, I've noticed it has seen an increase in play. Um, on the TCGO. There's a reverse Mr. Mime. Galarian Mr. Mime. Kind of wish it was Galarian Mr. Rhyme. But there you go. And the rare. Oh yes, nice. An Eternatus V. <laughs> That's actually really cool. Um, 
it's definitely there you go you can compare the two now so we've got the promo art which is definitely an alternate art to the one from the set they are exactly the same though uh in terms of attacks let me just hold them so you can actually see the attacks and all that that's pretty cool i believe now i have a play set of eternuses so i just need to get three more v maxes uh let's move some stuff along there go put the put the non-identical twins eternuses next to each other <laughs> So we got an Eternatus out of the Eternatus tin. That's pretty cool. This is the last pack of the tin. Um, so we'll see if we can get anything else from it. But if we get an Eternatus out of the Eternatus tin, I think that's pretty damn good. I'm fairly happy with that. So there's, I'm not being funny, I love that Teddy Ursa artwork. It's so, so cute. Teddy Ursa is one of those Pokemon that I've always liked anyway. Just aesthetically I think is a really pretty Pokemon. There's a semi for it, there's a reverse fletchling and our final rare is a Serena. Is that a hollow? No, it looked hollow, it's not. So that's a regular rare. Uh what am I doing? Reverses Yeah, let's because we've got darkness of blaze, let's do that. So we've got the reverses there and the rares there. I know what I'm doing now. So these are the four loose packs that I bought. So out of the tin, we got the Eternatus. Very good. Very happy with that. Um, let's see what we can get out of four loose packs. Um, in total, for the tin and the four loose packs, I paid £31. I get three packs for £10. Um, and then the odd pack was, I think, £3. The tin was meant to be £19. I got it for £18. Um, so I get little discounts here and there from my local game store, um, which is quite nice because I know the guys there they usually let me have a quid or two off. There's a Cape of Toughness. Um, I point that out because I need it from my deck, so I will be putting that one to the side. There's a powerful Colorless Energy as well. That's really good. Two really good trainers. There, are, There's a Reverse Hydreigon, which is a Reverse Rare. And the Rare is a regular Rare Delcati. So we've had a couple of reverse rares actually. I think was the Mr. Rhyme a reverse rare? No, he's a reverse common. Glare Mr. Rhyme is the reverse rare. So there's an Eternatus pack. If we could get another Eternatus, that would be cool. Uh, if we could stay away from Glare and Stun Stunfisk V, that would be great. <laughs> I really do not fancy a sixth one. That would be uh, frustrating. So there's a Dino to go with our Hydragon. Persimmon. There's another Bunnelby. Starting to get quite a few Mad Party pieces now that I've built the deck, which is pretty typical. I only need one more Galarian Mr. Rhyme for the actual deck. So, there's a Reverse Rose Tower, and the rare is a Mimikyu with that Hill Jamming ability. I think this could see a little bit of play. Um, just to prevent... I think this prevents Mallow and Lana. Because um, Mallow and Lana is switch and then heal. So I think it prevents that because it heal stops you from healing your Pokemon on the bench. So it switches the Pokemon to the bench and then it heals it. So I'm pretty sure that is how that works. We've got two packs left. This is our penultimate pack. There's a Rowlet and a Jigglypuff. Jigglypuff, fun little fact for Jigglypuff. Um, when the Isle of Armour DLC came out, uh, the first Pokemon I encountered on the Isle of Armour was a Jigglypuff, and it was a shiny one. <laughs> the first Pokemon I encountered on the Isle of Armour was a shiny Jigglypuff. Really cool. My first shiny in Sword and Shield as well. There's another Spike Moth. There's a Bird Keeper. And a Steenie. The reverse is a Bunnelby. I would quite like to get some more reverse Mad Partiers to reverse out the deck. And the rare... Ooh! Vikavolt V. Sorry, that's in the wrong pile. I have not pulled a Vikavolt V yet, I don't think. Actually, I might have a full art, I'm not sure. Um, this has seen, it had seen play with um, Pika Ron before rotation for that Paralyzing Bolt, which is does 50 damage for a Lightning and the Colorless. And during your opponent's next turn, they cannot play any item cards from the hand. So it's uh, basically Seismitoad EX. Um, so that's really cool. We're put it up with the Eternatus Brothers. So 
we got we've pulled two regular V's or regular ultra rares from uh, seven packs of Darkness Ablaze. Let's see if we can get anything else out of this last pack. But two ultra rares out of seven packs isn't terrible out of eight packs. Is uh, I think that's pretty much on average actually. Um, so let's see if there's anything else in this pack. There's a Yellhorn. I think I've only seen a few Yellhorns. I haven't seen a huge amount of them. There's another Ursa Ring. There's a Pulty Ghost. So we've got a couple of Mad Part Ears. The reverse is a Rowlet, which has that Wind Shard attack, which is kind of cool. And our final rare is a Vanillux regular rare. So in terms of pulls, I'm actually really chuffed. Um, we got two Eternatuses, which is one promo and one regular from the set. And we got a Vicar Vault. So let's see how sweet. <laughs> I don't really know how to hold these to outro out, but there we go. Uh, yeah, there we go. So that's going to be it for this video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, of course, please be sure to leave a like. Subscribe if you're new around here. Feel free to share this video with your friends if you think you know somebody who would like to watch this video as much as you did. Let me know in the comment section down below if you got that code card for the Sun and Moon base pack and if you pulled anything out of it. And also, let me know what was your pull of today. Was it the Eternatus or was it, was it the Viker Vault? Um, and I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.